So the way that waist stitches or waist knots work is it's a way so that you don't have to ever flip your fabric. You can just keep it here. So I am currently working with no stand. I just have it in my lap. So flipping is not really a huge issue, but you know, it always gets annoying after a while. So I thought I'd, I do these sometimes. I'm actually on my um, fairy dancer. I'm actually transitioning from doing uh, waist knots to doing pin stitches because pin stitches are what I normally use on on what when you can't use a waist knot because you can really only use waist knots on full coverage which both of these are so I can use um, waist knots on both of them but I am trying something different on Fairy Dancer and I'm probably going to transition this one to doing that as well I just really like how it looks um, but you'll see that in you know a future video but anyway, how it works is, you know, you're stitching your square. We'll work with this one, actually, because this one has a lot of extra. Um, so you're stitching your square. Squares are 10 by 10 stitches. It's a block of 100 stitches. So it's, you know, about, like, that big or whatever. Um, so what you would do is you find... Ah, why are you auto-focusing? My hand. So you find, like, say you're stitching that one. The way that I stitch, and I know that everyone stitches differently, I stitch from the top left down to the bottom right, top right down to the bottom left. That's how I stitch. So my stitches on the back are, you know, vertical. Um, so waist knots actually work a bit better if you can do them on the bottom and not on the side which the side is what I'm doing because on the bottom it just doesn't run into as many issues um with like you know cross country with extra stitches that are coming in from the square that you worked on um and you do run into some issues with this but you know that's besides the point so for me I have to do it on the side because if I do it on the bottom and doing vertical stitches, it's not going to get covered. And you want to make sure, the whole point of this is that you have a long tail on the back that is going to get covered by stitches. So, sorry, my phone keeps auto-focusing on my hand. So if I'm working on that stitch, the way that I would do it, if, I'm if I have to start the stitch um, with a waist knot which would happen if I had been able to start it with the loop method um you know and then it was only one stitch in that entire place I couldn't carry it over anywhere and so then I had to end it but I still have a ton of thread left over but now I can't start it with the loop method again I will tie just a knot onto the end of it find where my stitch is actually going and then I'm going to go down one and then I go across 11, I don't go across 10 because then it's going to be right on the border of the next square. I'm going to go across 11 so there's at least one stitch margin. You can go further than that. Um, I only go across 11 though. Then that'll bring it there. Once you got your first one down, you don't have to keep counting. You can just, you know, find where that one is and then just go down from there. So the reason why I go down though is to make sure that it's not a straight line. Because that's going to be a little bit harder, especially because the straight line will be on a place where not many stitches are going to be covering it. So I like to do it down so that it's slightly diagonal and then it's definitely going to get covered. So that is how I do it. And then when you know that you can safely snip it is when, when I come over and do this square, all of these, once I finish that square or that row even... Then I know that all of these are safe to cut because they're safely covered. And if I, you see that one right there? So if I had finished all of the stitches just in that row, I know that that particular waist knot is fully safe to cut. And I can just snip it off. And all you have to do is just grab a pair of tweezers, pull it up a little bit. You don't want to pull too hard, obviously. You don't want too much tension. But just pull it up a little bit, take your scissors, and snip it. And it just disappears. 
So that is a waist knot. I hope that that was very clear. If you have any more questions about how to, if you're a beginner, I might do a whole beginner series. I'm not sure. Um, but if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you so much.